I'm Miss Estonia. Hello, I'm Miss Montenegro. Hello, I'm Miss Albania. Hello, I'm Miss Kosovo. Hi there, I'm your Miss Canada Globe. Hello, I'm Miss Egypt. Hi, representing Philippines. Yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Maya Santana Pilar and I am the Special Events Coordinator for the Miss Globe 2020 World Finals. And today we're doing Group 3 of the Head Pet Challenge and I'm joined by these beautiful ladies right now who will be in this challenge. Miss Philippines. Okay, so the first question that I'd like to ask you ladies is to introduce yourself. And what have you been doing? And let the globe know who are you about. Let's start with Miss Philippines. Hello everyone, I'm Rubena de Serosa Siluya, 26 years of age, and you're Miss Globe Philippines 2020. I am currently a partner of a language school in, in Manila wherein we offer European and Asian languages. And right now I'm so excited to start this journey with these beautiful ladies and with the organizers. It's my first time in Albania. And this pageant really means a lot to me because it's very challenging on how I get through here. And yeah, I'm excited for more experiences that's like waiting for us. Thank you. Thank you. So the next question that I would like to ask you ladies is about your experience. How has your experience been since you've arrived here in Albania? Let's start with Miss Philippines. Um, this experience is very challenging first and foremost because the moment we arrive we are it's, we are practicing safety protocols already so it's like very new because I, I, we never experienced joining beauty pageants with face masks and all that stuff and of course our uh, protocols should be maintained and the food is amazing that's that's what that's what i could say because it's like very healthy and it's very helpful for our future days for the coming days and the most special part is to get to know these lovely ladies all over the world, like with different culture, different traditions, different um, personalities. That's like, wow, for, for this time of pandemic, for us to experience this personally, it's like we're already winners. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Philippines. What, are you, what is your national costume and how does this connect to you in a personal level? Let's start off with Miss Philippines. So my national costume, uh, if you remember it, or this has like a butterfly symbol on it, butterfly with colors. So we all know that butterfly signifies hope. And when I choose this national costume, without further ado, it's like, wow, I want this to represent the hope and the colors of what should we feel right now. How should I make people feel with this costume and something? So it's nice that when I, w when I wore it here on our photo shoot, girls are like, wow, that's so vibrant, that's so beautiful and that. And that's exactly what I, my purpose. I just want people that when they, when they see this national costume, they would feel the hope and the happiness and the this vibrancy of like, energy and yes that's that, that, that's all that's all thank you miss so i'm going to ask the next question that i'm going to ask is actually a little bit serious as you know we are living in a very uncertain moment the pandemic the covid 19. how did this affect you and what how were you able to um, fight that challenging time and what would be your message to the people who are watching right now, who's facing this pandemic? So let's start off with Miss Philippines. So this pandemic surely affected us one way or another. And uh, being in Manila, we all know that Manila is not that rich country for us to survive the lockdown and the quarantine. And one thing I could be proud of, not only for myself, but for the people who helped me 
um, get through that, especially when I held my fundraising uh, campaign by dancing, by using my talent. Um, it's so priceless to reach out to these people and be the, be the way, be the bridge on how you can help the families that can't, can't be able to provide for themselves. And this shows that in Philippines, we have this Bayanihan spirit. Bayanihan is like the unity and like the spirit of um, lifting up each other during this time of, of during this challenging time. And with that, I uh, would like I would love to uh, take this moment to to thank everyone who supported me and my team. And this should it should be like a message of inspiration to everyone that we should be able to ask ourselves like how can we contribute as a beauty queen as whatever walks of life you're into like how can we contribute to at least not change but at least make the world a better place even during this challenging time that's it thank you miss philippines next question ladies it's about talking about your advocacy what is your platform if you do win the Miss Flow 2020 title, what would you like to do um, with that title in regard to your to your uh, to your uh, to your passion? Let's start off with the Miss Philippines. As a social science teacher, it's always been my advocacy to be the change, be the change, and be the image of the world when it comes to like the misquote about education. For me, education is the primary tool on how we could spread awareness with regards like culture, unity, diversity, and all that stuff. I do believe that for by educating people, by giving them the right words, the right wisdom on how we could respect each other even though we're different, on how to embrace our uniqueness. I believe that that's one way on how we could be unified and be the loving children of God. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Bulgaria. Thank you, War. What do you think uh, the Miss Club pageant is about for you? Okay, so let's begin with Miss Philippines. Miss Philippines? For me, Miss Globe is about beauty, culture, and unity and diversity. It's all about how we respect our uniqueness. It's all about how we could work as one, heal as one, especially like during this time of pandemic. It's all about spreading the light on how we could inspire others to keep up and don't give up no matter how hard your situation is. To keep on moving forward even though we can't and make the impossible possible by being motivated enough to face the future even though we are uncertain even though we don't know what to do even though we are shaken by the new normal and it's hard to adapt to whatever the protocols by the governments and all that things that is like everyone has having anxiety about it's all about understanding on how we could we could work and we could heal together as one. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Philippines. 